Happy Saturday, everybody. <coughs> Happy Saturday. Girls. I went this way. He's like trying. I know. I'm right here. I know. But he's I, trying to get me sick. Is what's happening. Yeah. Yes. I'm not going to get she sick. She can't get sick because she's got mommy. Immunity. Immunity. That's, that's it. Which is probably true. That's why I always get sick. And you don't. Yeah. Whatever. This is junk. Yeah. Shakeology. Boop, boop. We just talked about it the other day. <laughs> I wish I drank Shakeology every day. You don't get sick as much as you used to. That's true. That's true. That's true. I showed that the other day. If you'd watch my videos, you would know. I don't watch your videos. I'm not in them. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Okay, I'm going to have to go through this because I'm going to cough. Yeah. FYI. And then you're going to be like, ah, it's gross. Get away from me. <laughs> you look like a hot mess. <laughs> hot Happy Saturday. Saturday. So dark. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Saturday. What's going on, everybody? Look who's back. I'm back. You look taller. To right? attack, kicking whack facts off a dope trip. I'm like such a rapper. Wow. You got yeah, dope that's... beats. Did you Six see beats. I was doing this too? Because that's super gangster. That's my, <laughs> that's my running man. You just can't see my feet going. I'm like MC Hammer. Did you hear the running man? Touch this. No, he did not. Oh. He did this. Oh, yeah. That is, I don't have hammer pants, so I can't do that. Okay. Anyway. So today, we are going to discuss a topic that I think confuses a lot of people. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and it was exactly what I thought as well until I started looking into it a little bit more. Um, but, so, a lot of people believe that sugar-free, um, fat-free, that kind of stuff, those things are like, those are far better options than, say, the regular. For instance, sugar-free Diet Coke, Coke, Dr. Pepper, you know, soft drinks in general, right? These kinds of things are better for us than, say, like the regular one. And the unfortunate truth to that is they're actually, they're actually not. Um, the reason being is because what they actually do with these is they put in these artificial sweeteners. And not only can our body actually not even process those sweeteners, it doesn't even know what to do with them. Um, the, the really kind of detrimental part to us in trying to get results is those sweeteners actually tell our body, hey, you're gonna get sugar, but they're not sugar. And so then our body's like, cool, I'm all amped up and ready for sugar, but I'm not getting it, now I want sugar. It'll actually cause us to crave more of what we're doing. So aside from the fact that there's a bunch of, usually in those cases, a lot of times there's actually hidden sugars and stuff in them. Um, or if it's fat-free, a lot of times they add a bunch of hidden sugars because guess what, fat-free doesn't taste good, right? So that's basically where they're kind of going yeah. with it. Like if you see fat-free licorice, yeah. it's fat-free, so it must be healthy. Yeah, totally. In my belly. Well, whoa, I'm trying. Whoa. I'm trying to keep up with you and Rufus now. You can't. You can't. Keep, <laughs> nobody can keep up with. Nobody can keep up with Sandra. It's just yeah. Not an um, but so just so you guys know, um, it took me a long time to figure that out, and you and it's unfortunate because we think we're doing something good for ourselves, and then we find out. Wait a minute. I'm actually hosing myself over because the large food companies they know how to make money, right? yeah. and they know what's going to sell, and so they're not looking out for our best interests. So we have to. Right. right. And so that's why you know things like you know people say or would think fat free, okay, you need to stay away from fats. No, healthy fats are really good for you. So Absolutely. they promote olive oil and coconut oil and peanut butter, natural peanut butter and things like that because your body needs the fat and the, the healthy oils and, and all the benefits that come with that. So, you know, substituting margarine, which is horrible, which I've learned, like I grew up on margarine my whole entire life and it wasn't until recently that I'm like, I'm better off eating butter than I am margarine because margarine is a man-made product. It's got a bunch <coughs> of weird stuff in it. Anyways, so, you know, stick with, with products that are grown from the earth, that are one ingredient foods, that are not man-made, that are not processed as much as possible. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's better for us. Yeah. I mean, the really unfortunate thing is there's just a lot of chemicals and stuff in a lot of those other foods that we don't even know what they are. Yeah. And we don't even, we, have, we still don't even know fully what they do to our bodies. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm still constantly learning. I'm learning yeah. new things every day. So what my challenge is for you guys today is share one thing below of what you used to think and what you've learned. So maybe, you know, I used to think that margarine was a better alternative, but I learned that it's not, that it's, it's filled with chemicals. And, and actually, if I'm going to choose uh, butter, butter is better than margarine. So not that I'm promoting eating butter all the time. But anyways, so post that below because you guys might be teaching us something new too. So absolutely, yeah. yeah. We learn from each other. You know, we're just telling you, we're just sharing what we've learned. But exactly. we're not pretending like we know everything. We just he does. We, he thinks he knows everything. I do, but I don't want to say that because that sounds really, really, really obnoxious. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cough directly in her direction. No. Okay, no. you guys have a fantastic Saturday. Everybody, eat well, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>